Can dogs feel guilty? In this Science Explained video, we're going to be looking at the scientific literature to see what the researchers have to say. So if you're interested in nerding out and finding out whether or not dogs can feel guilt, keep watching. What's up guys? It's Jenna with Dog Liaison where I coach you on how to enhance your dog's mental health needs. I'm a professional dog trainer and on this channel we break down scientific research to learn more about dog behavior. Today we're looking at dog guilt. We all know that look, that look where the dog's eyes go up and their shoulders go up in their ears and they kind of make themselves small and it just looks like they're guilty of something. The real question is whether or not they actually are guilty. The truth is there's been relatively little research on whether or not dogs feel guilty. However, the research that has been done has been pretty solid. In 2008, Morris et al. found that 74% of people perceive guilt in their dog. And in 2009, Dr. Alexandra Horowitz did an active study with actual dogs and they, she found that not only, again, do owners perceive their dog as guilty, but then she was also able to attribute attribute nine specific behaviors that dogs do, which she calls the guilty look. That is avoiding eye contact, lying down and rolling to the side or onto the back, dropping the tail, wagging low and quickly, holding one's ears down and head down, moving away from the owner, raising a paw, and licking. Interestingly though, these same behaviors seem to come up when dogs are shy or scared and experiencing fear. That is empirical fact that these behaviors also correlate with fear. So Horowitz wanted to look at the context under which these behaviors were being displayed. And what she found was that the dogs were giving these the so-called guilty look, these behaviors, when their owners were scolding and correcting them. Horowitz concluded the study with, quote, the results indicate the so-called guilty look is a response to owner scolding. It is not expressed more often when the dog is actually guilty. In follow-up studies in 2012 and 2015, conducted by completely different research labs, researchers came to the similar conclusion that dogs were giving this so-called guilty look regardless of whether or not they were actually guilty of a crime and that this guilty look was absolutely influenced by more so the humans and their owners behavior not whether or not they had actually done something wrong so it seems that dogs are demonstrating this so-called guilty look regardless of whether or not they actually did a crime but more in response to their owner's behavior and it's probably more likely a fear response concern of being punished or scolded but that doesn't necessarily mean that dogs don't experience guilt the truth is that as far as science is concerned on whether or not dogs experience guilt the jury is kind of out but we're leaning towards probably not while we can't empirically factually say that dogs don't experience guilt, we also can't really say that they experience these more secondary emotions. And the reason is, is because dogs have quote, lower order thinking. They don't have higher order thinking like we do. So the best way I can explain this is that they have fundamental basic emotions like fear and you know happiness and um, excitement but they don't have more abstract emotions like guilt or shame or anything like that. So in my personal opinion, I would argue that we should lean towards them not experiencing guilt. Um, that's just a hypothesis, but I think that until we get definitive uh, proof that dogs experience guilt, we probably should give them the benefit of the doubt and not really believe that they are guilty of a crime just because they're demonstrating that behavior. In fact, when you see that behavior, I think it's more likely that you should reassess your own body and your own actions and think what am I doing that is causing my dog to demonstrate these behaviors because that's what the science says is going on. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, smash that like button. And if you enjoy nerdy dog behavior content, do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video and I'll see you guys next time.